you did better than the street. I think a little better than the street was looking for in the reporting quarter. But I wonder because of your very large exposure to the Chinese market, what do you expect for the current quarter? Yeah, no, I mean, we had a really solid year last year with a number of areas of strong performance. Uh, in fact, we had our best performance in terms of opening new hotels in over a decade. That drove our net system size growth. The number of new hotel rooms have opened up about 5.6 percent. As you noted, that drove underlying revenue up 6 percent, underlying profit up 6 percent, and able to increase our dividend by 10 percent for the full year. So a solid performance uh, for last year and good momentum to this year. Uh, clearly, the coronavirus uh, is a challenge for the travel industry and for business in general. Uh, you know, we're very focused right now on the health health, the well-being, the care of our colleagues, our customers, working with our business partner, uh, and also with the government to help support them uh, in China to help deal with the individuals that are being affected by this. So how do you expect, um, first of all, how do you expect the coronavirus to hit your numbers? I mean, you used to manage the, country, the company's Chinese business, so you have particular experience in this market. What does it look like for Intercontinental in, Q, in this Q1? Yeah, I lived in uh, Shanghai for almost five years and helped build our China business there. And I'm incredibly proud of the team who we're managing through during this very tough time. Again, travel is significantly down in the month of February. Uh, you know, we are seeing basically it's a number of cancellations, but also then rebookings into later on in the year. It's really difficult to call what the impact of this will be, uh, given the fact that we don't know how long the virus is going to be a significant impact onto China and onto travel. Um, but we do know, like when we had SARS, or I lived there with H1N1, we saw a significant drop in demand for a short period of time and then a very strong recovery after that because of that pent up demand and also the Chinese government's ability to stimulate economic growth and activity too. And so um, it's only a small portion of our business today as well. Again, huge part of our growth, but less than 10% of our business today. So we're quite confident we can manage through this year. So you have. Uh, what almost 6,000 hotels worldwide you have almost almost 900,000 hotel rooms right how much of yes. that uh, what portion of that is located in the affected areas in China so I think you have about 15 percent of our existing hotel supply is in China uh, so you have about a little under 500 hotels in operation today uh, in China uh, and about another close to 500 being developed in China and to give you a sense we've already signed a few new hotels this year we've already opened a few new hotels in China today so again it's less than 10 percent of our company's profits today but it is a long portion of our future growth and that's what this industry is all about is long-term sustainable growth and with the rising wealth the middle class the strength of China uh, you know we're very very confident in the long-term prosperity for the travel industry there. And again, unlike the uh, product uh, uh, pr production or industrial industry where they have supply chain issues in the hospitality group, you can just bounce back after, uh, after this. You expect a sharp recovery. Yeah, we saw that in SARS. It was really, it was a V-shaped recovery around SARS. And unlike other industries, there is that pent-up demand of meetings and events, conferences, and people needing to travel for business that we pick up in the latter portion of the year typically, too. So, again, we need to work with the government to help make sure we're supporting them. In fact, in Wuhan today, I'm incredibly proud of our teams. We have four hotels there, which are actually housing the medical teams that have been flown in to treat the afflicted individuals. Uh, one of our hotels has actually been doing the meals to help the workers build the new hospitals. Um, so again, we're part of the solution there as well to working with the government and uh, really, really proud of the people on the ground making a difference.